Well, the term bioavailability is uh, often defined differently by, by different people. But just a, a generic approach is, is how much of the essential metal that the animal consumes is actually utilized in the body. So is it absorbed and utilized in a physiological, biological system or potentially stored in a tissue for, for, for use later versus uh, being excreted through uh, feces or urine, which would be the unutilized portion. So it's just the percentage that is actually absorbed and utilized or stored in the, in the animal versus excreted into the environment. Well, a lot of things can affect bioavailability, but in the ruminant animal, which are those that, uh, that I'm most, most interested in, it is these mineral antagonisms that can occur in the rumen, but also can occur in other parts of the GI tract, but primarily the rumen, where these insoluble complexes form between two different metals and those insoluble complexes will result in, in, in that metal being unavailable for absorption or less likely for absorption. There's also other things that can uh, impact bioavailability, such as uh, competing for absorption sites. So for example, copper and, and zinc can both compete for uh, uh, absorption uh, activity, and so they need to be supplemented at the proper ratio to ensure that uh, one doesn't antagonize the other.